right. I had to arm wrestle with that guy over there so he can get out of our office so I could show you the new setup and actually can get it set up for me. Um, so this is our new office and as you can see, we're both sharing it. So I need to figure out a setup that works for both of us. Um, now, one thing to notice, the first thing to notice is that there is a window right there. And because of the configuration of this room, the best way to set it up, it was actually putting the, the desk up against the window. So when I'm shooting, the light is, as you can see, right on my face. Um, now, just to show you, right now you can see the light right coming onto my face, which is great natural lighting. If I were to put the desk right here, now I would have light over here and dark over here. Likewise, if I were to put it right here, I would have more light here and a little bit of a shadow or dark here. So as you can see, the best way to set it up is actually to have that natural, beautiful direct light onto your face, which is what I'm doing right now. All right, so hopefully you have seen my prior videos where I have talked about the four different categories, how I break down my equipment and my setup. Lights, cameras, mics, and software. So we're gonna go through that right now because I need to figure it out for myself. I don't even know how I'm going to set it up right here, right now. The only thing that, like I said, I have decided is that I want the direct light to come up on my face. Okay, so the very first thing that we're gonna do, and I have to do as easy as that with the move, just plug it in. So I'm gonna look for the cable, here's the cable. Now, the one thing that I like to do, I don't like having a bunch of cables everywhere. So what I do with this, I just wrap it around so there is not too much cable um, everywhere. And then, as you can see, now I'm gonna plug it in onto this device that allows me to put all my devices into one. All right. So that is mic number one and how easy it was to pack it up and just put it back in after the move. Now let's talk about the camera that I put at the very top of my computer screen. And if you remember, that is the Logitech camera and thankfully it had that cover. Just make sure you clean it and that it doesn't have any fingerprints or anything like that. Um, but there it is, right? So this one, I have the cord here as well. And what I like to do, as I mentioned before, is like I don't like those cables just hanging everywhere. So I take, I put it on top of my, and hopefully you can see, I put it on top of my computer screen and then I proceed to wrap it around the mic. So that way, if at any point in time, by any chance, by mistake, um, I ended up dropping um, the, the screen for the computer or bringing it down and this falls off, it doesn't fall over to the ground because it's attached here. So it, I'm really preventing it from breaking. Um, so there it is, it's all hooked up. And then I bring all the cables down and when I open my computer screen, as you can see, you can't even see all those cables, which is what I don't like. Like I'm so organized. I like to have everything in the perfect place organized. Okay, so now we hooked up so far the Yeti mic and the Logitech um, camera, which is the one that I use with my Zoom every single time I do my video podcast. So now I wanna see if I can see my big screen again. Now for the big screen, as you can see, now this is the screen that both my husband and I will be sharing, which we were not doing before, before it was just mine. And he has a docking station. He has a PC and I have a mic, a Mac. So basically what I'm gonna do is um, very easily, as you can see here, there is the plug for the um, screen. And what I do is every single time that he wants to use it, he can plug it in there and every time I want to use it, I can come back here. Let me just bring this a little bit closer so you can see. I can come back here and then just plug it in there. And hopefully now we'll be able to see my choo-choo chewy over here on the big screen. 
Let's see, one, two, three. <laughs> Not yet. Hold on, where is it? Let's see. Okay, what's going on? There it is, yay. Okay, so now we have that hooked up, the mic, we have the Logitech camera. We're doing great so far, so good. As you can see, it doesn't take long at all. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is to take a look at the Diva Light and the setup for my uh, camera. And as you can see here, I have it temporarily set up. I don't have it hooked up yet or plugged in, if you will. I need to actually figure out where I put the cable during the move. I have no idea. <laughs> so that is gonna have to wait because I don't have a clue. And actually we already unpacked every single box. So it could be at the storage, which then means I have to go to the storage room to get it. And then I have my camera. Now, here you have the camera and you have the tripod, as you can see, right? So the idea is no matter where you are, the idea is that you'll have the Logitech camera and then you'll have this camera, which let me take this off so you can see what I'm using. I'm using this uh, tripod. It's a mini tripod. It's a Joby. And then this one typically I put right here on my desk in front of my face. So I'll have my phone right there, the Logitech there, and then the Nikon here. Um, that way I get that cinematic look um, shooting from all different angles. And by the time that we go into editing, I can provide my editor, my video editor with all the clips. And he takes a little bit piece of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. And then it looks cinematic. It's not just a static head. All right. So now that I show you partially my setup, I need to go figure out where the plug is for my Diva light, get the rest of the camera set up, and then I need to go test it. So I may go live with all of you here on Instagram. So that way you can tell me, how does it look like? Do I need more light? And uh, do I sound okay? So that way we can just do a test before I start shooting again my video podcast. All right, that is all I wanted to share. It's so simple to do once you have equipment. If you need more information, if you need to um, get my checklist of all the equipment that I use, I'll be happy to send it to you. Just DM me. And other than that, I hope you take advantage of this time to follow your dreams and do the things that you like. And if video podcasting is one of them, let me know, DM me. I'm more than happy to help you in any way I can. Mwah.